Previously on The Code, Life with the Brumbies. Your first one was Last one was awesome, mate. Last year I was incredibly proud to be part of the organisation. This is your life. You're only getting one shot at it. So first session of the year, no excuses for sloppy execution today. <laughs> it looks like we're going to get to know each other quite well because we're pretty much sleeping on top of each other. And I just love to get a few more caps maybe next year and you know prove them up to this level. That was a real team effort. We carried the flag to the top. What are we going to have for dinner? I think Alan's going to go to the shops. Heaps of salad for you boys, eh? I don't know, mate. Just to start with, lads, I want three uphill sprints, hands on hips. Do you understand the uh, moves in English? Yeah. Probably. It's hard enough for yeah. us. The team from the capital of Australia have headed west to play their first trial game in Wagga Wagga, the capital of the Riverina. We're at McDonald's Park here in Wagga. Um, it's Friday before the big game tomorrow night, first pre-season game of the year against the Waratahs. We're just in the process of getting the ground and the facilities ready here and up to speed. It's a, it's a great facility here and, uh, and, and Wagga have gone out of their way. The ground's in absolutely tip-top shape, it's, it's immaculate. This afternoon, the Brumbies get into town around one o'clock, and so they'll be coming out to McDonald Park here around three. They do their captain's run for an hour and a half. So that's open to the public also. Um, tomorrow morning, we've got a promotion at Bolton Park. It'll be breakfast with the Brumbies, so we're inviting anyone to come down there, basically just to have a bacon egg roll, and all the boys will be over there just mingling with the kids and the parents. So, so that'll be a fantastic way to, to kick off the day. We're really excited to get a big crowd tomorrow night. The weather's looking uh, really good and we're hoping that the uh, Wagga community and uh, regional people around Wagga uh, will come in and support it really well. Good morning, Sturt Public School. Brumbies. All right, guys, my name's Seth and I'm from the Brumbies. Does anyone know who the Brumbies are? Yep. Yeah. Horses. Horses. And they're also a rugby union team. Me and a few of the boys have basically uh, come up here from Canberra to meet Seth, who's uh, our region Southern Inland DO, and uh, we've been bouncing around a few schools and um, basically drumming up excitement for the Brumbies Waratahs game that's going to be played here tomorrow. We need to cheer for our teammates, okay, and encourage them. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay, go! Cheer them on, guys, cheer them Seth's on! Seth's been out here now for just on a year and he basically has really good relationships with schools and for us it's all about getting that good relationship and, and, and really building on that. So initially it just takes a phone call or even coming to the school and knocking on the door really and saying hi. I'm Damien, I'm from the Brumbies and I really want to get in here and do some school clinics with you and, and from there hopefully that relationship starts and you just build from there. Was that easy? Yeah. yeah. I think we might get a little bit harder now. Everyone standing back up for me. Now what we're going to do guys, ball in two hands again. We're going to go in and out of the cones, slithering like a big snake. In and out of the cones, round the green cone all the way back and hand it off to your teammates. Go to the back of the line, take a seat, hands on your head. Can we do that? Yeah! Kindies, year one and year two, the kids are just learning to walk properly and run and, and, and understand spatial awareness and all that sort of thing. So we're really basically just trying to get these kids interested in playing a sport. And if it's rugby they play, then, you know, we're winning. Wagga is part of the Brumbies territory. So to develop interest in the game, they've won the hearts and minds of the local community. And that started with the players and fans of the future. At the moment, just behind us, the kids are really just running around chasing Brumby Jack, and we just hope they walk away saying they've had such a good time and that they're able to then go home and say, Mum and Dad, we had the Brumbies come to us today and they were talking about some game on Saturday. And you really hope that the parents understand that there is a game here and they go, Well, the kids had a great time, let's take them to the footy. And from there, the kids go, This is great. I want them to come back, or I want to try and find a club, and that's really the aim for us. Brumby Jack, Brumby! Get him, Brumby Jack! The 
It's obviously our first game of the 2016 campaign. Everyone's very excited, we spoke about that already. We're in a brand new jersey um, and we get to play against the Waratahs, so it's a bit of fun out there as well. Uh, we've got 10 guys, potentially 10 guys in this room who haven't played for the Brumbies before who are actually going to play for the Brumbies. Uh, and whilst I'd like to present jerseys to everyone today, we're just going to start with the starting 15 here. So I'm just going to hand over to some of the senior players. This is the first time to wear the new strip, so you know, it is a special occasion. And um, you guys are the guys who get the opportunity to do it first. Cheers. It is a ritual that carries the same significance for seasoned campaigners and debutantes alike. It acts as a trigger to remind the squad that game time approaches. Questions? Okay, so the uh, non-starters in bibs, starters down that end, playing a bit of touch footy, full field. With only four weeks of training behind most of the World Cup squad, the opportunity to run on is open to those teammates who have slogged it out since November. For those selected, it's a just reward and an honour that these men will undoubtedly embrace. Well, we're on three. <laughs> One, two, three. Wow. Saturday, 9am, game day, Brumbies fan day down at uh, Park and Wagga Wagga. It's Widow at the Bolton Park today for breakfast with the Brumbies. Get down here right now. All the Brumbies players are hanging out. Skill sessions going on for the kids and it's your last chance to get discounted tickets from the merchandise tents. Now, I've got to say, it's a big moment for me because as a young boy watching this guy play, it was very, very exciting on the TV to watch him, see him in person as well. He's here at the moment, Wallaby great, uh, also the attack coach for the Wallabies now and also coach for the Brumbies, it's Stephen Larkham. Good morning, Stephen. Good morning, how are you? Very good, thank you. Now, this is just amazing here today to have all the players down here and yourself interacting with the kids and saying good day. Uh, you, this is the first time you've seen this setup, isn't it? Uh, this little blow-up setup, yeah, it's the first time I've seen it. Um, the, the kids are certainly enjoying themselves out there with the players at the moment, kicking a few balls around, and I can see Joey Tamani playing a bit of touch footy with some of the kids. Oh, great pass. Run straight, run straight. Oh! All right, you want to do another challenge? Yeah. We're going to try and hit the crossbar. What? Is that thing going across that says Brumbies? Oh, really? Yep. Oh, you go first. You go first. You. 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 This is paper rock. You lost. Oh. oh. Well, we just went for a run and then we came down here, got all the signatures. It's really cool to see all like how tall they are and how muscly and, and they've got big calves and they're big. It kind of wants you to play more rugby and stuff like that. I like tackling and trying to make run with the ball as fast as you can to try and get to the try line. Sam, how'd you go? You did some interviewing I saw earlier, eh? Yeah. How was that? Pretty cool. Where's Ida? Can you see Ida in there? There he is. There he is right there. Ida, this is Nico. You gonna come to the game, Nico? You gonna support the Brumbies? Good boy, good boy. For the kids here in Wagga, it's fantastic. They get to meet the players and the players have all interacted with them really well and it makes them feel special and it, it does what it's supposed to do in getting kids being active and participating in rugby union and all, and all sports. I remember when I was younger and all the Wallabies players would come out to the country towns and you'd, you'd drive in for hours to uh, get a glimpse of them and get them to sign some stuff. It really meant a lot to the young kids back then and I'm sure it means a lot to them these days as well. We want as many kids playing rugby as we can down here to, to come through the ranks and hopefully play for the Brumbies one day and it's good to see such a good turnout. I mean, this is you know, really what rugby is about is, is, is the, the grassroots and getting young people playing sport excited about it, um, getting out there, getting healthy. Yeah well I won't keep you any longer from the kids and everyone else mate, I'll let you get back into it. Uh, best of luck tonight, everyone's thoroughly looking forward to the game. Stephen Larkin, thank you very much. Thanks for having us. The middle of the day gives Brumbies players a chance for some much needed downtime before what promises to be a gruelling contest of rugby later this evening. How'd you find Captain's run? 
Yeah, good. Uh, pretty cruisy. It's just good to kind of like have a hit out now. Yeah. I like how game week's chilled. It's pretty cruisy, yeah. Mate, like Monday, Tuesday, kind of tough. But then the rest of the week. Mate, as soon as you like you go into season, the weeks just fly by. Yeah. Before you know it, it's game day again. The preseason's cooked me. <laughs> I'm not used to getting up at six and then getting back <laughs> home at like 5.36. It's pretty long, eh? It's the first time I've had a bedtime since school. Oh, well, like I junior you school. Like, I'm going to bed at nine. <laughs> as soon as the clock hits nine, like I'm on the phone and I'm like, all right, time Good to go night. to bed. My girlfriend, like she sees like 8.59. She's like, oh, I guess you're going to sleep. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> to, to, the, to the second. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Yeah. You got family coming up? You got your missus coming? No, nah, bro. They're still in Hong Kong. They won't be back till mid-April. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, my dad's huge on bringing everyone. That'll be good. It'll be different. Like, he's like, put it out. Like, oh, aunties, uncles, cousins, friends of friends, everyone. Oh, on, that's watch. me. That's all good. <laughs> it's a big weekend. First cap? Yeah, yeah. Everyone down to see it? Yeah. That'll be awesome. Yeah. As the heat of the afternoon slowly starts to disappear, the team comes together and bodies and minds prepare for battle. So let's have a look at a couple of things here. So in attack, we've just got to find our shape today as soon as possible and then use your skills. Do you honestly think they've trained harder than us? I guarantee you've trained harder than these guys and it's going to hurt for little periods of time. It's going to hurt for us and they're going to be busted. So push yourself. This is our first crack this year. There's still a long way to go, but this is our first crack. And you've worked hard to put yourself in this physical condition right now to trust your body. So trust it, believe in your body, and then believe in your teammate doing his job. Okay, so there's the belief. No fear. You throw the ball around, you do whatever you want, you, we're ready for it. There's no fear with anything we're doing in attack today. So that's the enjoyment, isn't it? Knowing that you've done the work, knowing that you've got the skills, knowing that our shape is good, and we're going to f a few things up. But we live that together. That's part of the journey. We enjoy everything out there in attack. All right, the last bit here, defense. They're going to come with some big runners, this power game that they talk about all the time. Enjoy that. Get in their face, smack them. The big boys, the murangs, that's what it's there for, to bounce off that. Yeah? Get in there and enjoy that. We're just in their face all day all day. We just know there's the contact point. Well, that's my line. You can push him back. That's what it's about. So the last little bit that I want to say, there's that white line when you run out onto the field. Everyone goes across it. When you're running out for the first time on the field, that's it. That's your little switch. Here? Yeah, I'm all right. But here, and I'm losing it now. <laughs> and when we cross that little bit of line, we change. That's us. We're together and we've changed. And we're going to bring it today. All right, let's go. With club rugby showcasing the skills of local teams throughout the day, the crowd steadily builds in anticipation as the country's most talented players endeavour to make Wagga Wagga their home turf for the next 80 minutes. This is uncharted territory as the squad goes to battle for the first time this season. They will need to stay focused without allowing the emotion to take over, and each player will have a different motivation. Proving fitness, securing a starting position, retaining a spot in the squad. Each of them will know, however, that success in team sport is the collective sum of all individual parts. As Captain Matt Tamua addresses the troops, the plan for intent, commitment and cohesion is put into place. Now it's time to execute. Robbie's on three. One, two, three. Robbie's. Go straight away. Let's go, boys. Here we go. Season 2016 underway. 
and Arwong, he looks to run it straight and hard. Oh. And oh, and a big hit. Oh, he's out. Now they try and get the shove on. The Brumby's edging closer. Come on, boys. Come on. The four-quarter trial game has started well, with a deserved try after dominance in possession and territory. Come on, Aiden. Two minutes to the quarter, boys. Two minutes to the quarter. I want to see a little bit more intent to get up there and put pressure on them. Okay, which means our fullbacks have to be up there. Otherwise, we got that clear call of the jockey and we solve it. Got it? All right. Make it happen, boys. And now the Brumbies looking to hold on. Oh, and they do. Well, a big turnover. They try to counter. They go wide now. And oh, Toa Kun. Hold on to it. And Robinson, he's going for the corner. And a big tackle from Smith gets it away. Knocked it on. Play on, play on, play on. Oh my God, he gave it. <laughs> I went to the video referee, mate. It was not a f***ing try. <laughs> You're our favourite touch judge so far. This year. <laughs> Looking we're pretty good on the ball. Like we've just got to tough it out a bit. We're a bit um, soft. Go, Docs. Go. No, you big thing. After a fortuitous try to the Tars, the Brumbies strike back. Nice. Carry docs. Good carry, mate. We need to be going off the line nice and hard. Steady yourself and then go hard again to get to that tackle so that we are getting an early chop. And that way we'll get them to ground a lot quicker and we'll get better opportunity to get on our ball. Right, boys, we worked hard to get to this point, haven't we? And they're f aren't they? You look at them. I know there were some passages out there that went for a fairly long time, but we get a turnover there after we've been defending for five minutes. We play. That's what we've done all pre-season. We've worked our ass off to get those opportunities to play. So let's start to spark it up now. And that's what it is now. It's about winning the game. Everyone understand that? Pick the f***ing energy up and enjoy this last little bit, boys. This is it. F***ing enjoy. First game of the season. Let's go. Line speed communication. Yep. Do not be lazy in D. Yep. That means urgency to get to position. Yep. Quick ball now, Enova out the back to Juice, goes to Tamani, Tamani gets it away, and the Brumbies are in. So just Rhino, just tell JB, we'll have JB at seven here, Heine at six, and Wellesie at eight, okay? Heine's at six, Wellesie's at eight. Wellesie, you're at eight. He's at seven, Heine's at six. Oh, they're gonna run everything. To make sure our second fullbacks, our fullbacks are pushing up. Tell Juicy he's got to push up. Zach, he's got to push up. Oh, Joey Powell! Nice, Joey! We can't open it if you can't catch. Don't get angry at him, mate. Tell Joey not to take any of that. So, Joey, really good over here. That's the sort of intent that we need. And when we get the ball, let's cherish it. All you need to do now is just get your rest. Got it? What are you seeing there, Poey? They're coming hard at us now in the A zone. That's it. Like, we've just got to sort of get that inside guy getting through. We haven't turned one ball over. Play on, sir. That was a super counter ruck. Get on side. Watch that short side, lads. Let's go, boys. Big scrum. Despite a perceived dominance by the Canberra-based team, the Waratahs start to claw their way back into the game. That's wonderful, guys. Right, we've got to scream, scream out shape. Got to get to our shape. We need to find shape here. Find shape! Get out, find shape, Tristan! Get all these boys walking. Get all the boys over there. Fieldy, get all the boys over there. No walking, get in there and get set. This is the enjoyment now where it's f***ing hard. Enjoy this. In the dying seconds, the Waratahs attack the line in a last throw of the dice. Oh no, that'll be a card. Oh, that's And they might have done it! The Tars! <laughs> They've pulled this one out of the fire. It's full time at McDonald's Park here in Wagga Wagga. The Waratahs have started 2016 with a 21 points to 17 win over their fierce, fierce rivals, the Brumbies. And from Wagga Wagga McDonald's Park, it's goodbye. Can you sign my jersey? Yeah, sure. There you go. What kind of dinosaur is that? T Rex. T Rex. Thanks for coming down. Yeah. So good to see so much support here. You know, the boys have been itching for this game for a long time, and uh, the, the intent out there was where we wanted it to be. 
they enjoyed themselves um, and they showed a little bit of skill. All right, we're going to uh, we're going to wrap up here. So can I just get the guys who played their first game for the Brums stand up? Good. Oh, they're good. Some outstanding performances there. You can be really proud of yourselves. I don't want to be negative out of this because it was a real positive experience. There's lots of positive to take out of it, but we've got to be honest. These close games are the ones that we have to win, and that's what hurt us in the competition last year. If we'd won a couple of those close games, we finished second or first, then the finals run is so much easier, we win the grand final. And that's what it comes down to. Okay, so I want you to think about this. In that last 20 minutes, if you were on the field, could you have pushed harder in defence? Could you have pushed harder in defence? All right, think about that tonight. Because in my head, it wasn't good enough. So, for me, there's a lot in that last 20 minutes. For the rest of the season, there's a lot in that. We have to make sure we're not losing games like this again. The results of pre-season encounters are often lost in memory. The defeat will be absorbed as an experience that will help shape the team and engender a resolve to get things right before the results really count. For the Brumbies, it is one of many steps they have taken to prepare and fine-tune before the season begins. This is an organisation where winning is a standard. Winning well is expected. And as the layers have been removed over the last few months, it has revealed an organisation where success on and off the field this year will be no fluke. The planning and detail are in place. The goals and objectives have been set. Now it's time to enjoy the journey. This group of players have been together for three to four years now. Um, game plan is, has evolved. So what excites me is we're a genuine chance to win the Super Rugby Trophy this year. Um, it's not a foregone conclusion, obviously, um, but it, it's something that we're aiming towards and I, I, I genuinely think we have a good opportunity to, to get there. I want this organisation and I believe that everybody who works in it wants it to be recognised as a world-class organisation and that's in every aspect that we do. Uh, commercially, this organisation has had a very chequered history. Uh, 11 in the last 12 years, it's made losses, and number one goal is to turn the organisation around uh, from the perspective of delivering a profit um, and a sustainable income level um, into the future. We've still managed to maintain the bulk of our squad. So this is really our, our best opportunity over the last four years to win the title. You know, winning is a massive part of the culture down here. We want to be the most successful Australian team with a view to being the most successful Super Rugby team.